Hey YouTube, we're out here at the goat pasture today. Um, been asked by a few people to go over my real winding rig or my uh, unrolling rig that I use to put out these uh, two strands of poly wire fence. Uh, I've got some 150 foot ex uh, extension cord reels that I use for this. So I'm just gonna go over these dimensions. So if I actually purchased this, um, I didn't build this myself, but the individual or company no longer answers the phone. And so some people have uh, tried to tried to contact them to get one bought and they can't. So I'm gonna give you guys the dimensions and if you wanna build one, you can give it a go. So to start off with, um, this main arm, this basket, this basket is one and a quarter inch tubing right here, running all the way through here that this arm slides into. And so this arm itself is just is one inch tubing. Um, backing up just a little bit, this basket I did purchase from that, that manufacturer, but I, I think just any, any basket you have, you can make work if you if you go ahead and, and weld you on some some one inch tubing to, to slide this into and use as a sleeve so I, don't worry about the basket too much i will say that um, these two vertical upright uh, pieces of, of tubing that were welded on here uh, were there for the intention of uh, some stands that that stuck up that you could lay your temporary post into and stack them on uh, i don't utilize that i, I didn't didn't like it but these two uh, little vertical uh, pieces of tubing are handy for the the brace that I use for my uh, post, my O'Brien step-in post. Um, I've got one post with the the poly wires on them, and this this big loop goes through it. This goes down to the ground, and a, another O'Brien post is stepped through here into the ground on the outside of the of the run and holds that corner up. So. It's really useful though. These two uprights are useful for holding for holding all these braces on here and keeping them up out of the way and real handy to get to better than a, a big wad stuffed in the in the basket. So uh, that is one little handy feature you might consider. Moving on to the arm though, uh, like I said, it's one inch tubing. Uh, this arm is right at 12 inches. Uh, the, the upright right here, that's uh, gonna be four inches. So uh, keep that in mind. You know, they've got, just got two holes drilled into it right here. Uh, maybe I'll get my cell phone out here in a second and maybe you guys can see a little bit better up close, but two holes drilled in there. Uh, one is for when it's put up, you can run your pin, run your pin through here and it'll hold it in place for you. The other one is for when it's in use. Uh, another one of these, these pins comes out just drop it down in there holds it in place for you so moving on to the the plate for unrolling the reels the reels will sit right here in these two little little carriages or arms um, I apologize I don't have a reel with me right now um, to demonstrate a little better but most of you have seen my videos so uh, it's not that big a deal uh, one and a quarter inch tubing sliding over the one inch tubing a little bit of, of metal plate sticks out here to hold these on um, this plate running across is eight and a quarter of an inch or excuse me eight and an eighth you got a little gap here a little 3 16 gap I'll get my phone out here I think it help you guys to see this up close probably you know but that right there that's eight and an eighth all the way across you've got a gap in there that's right at a quarter of an inch that um that gap in between them is, is a quarter of an inch i don't think that's important um it's just the way they built it i think originally this is supposed to be just for one reel and this guy added this on and just just tacked it on right here but the important thing is is you know that you know that's eight and an eighth all the way across but the real the real important thing is you know for those reels that sit in there that's four inches right there from the inside of the ear to the inside of the ear that's four inches you know and so so one for each coming across uh he made that four as well um so just four going that way and the ears you probably can't see that but that is two and a quarter inches tall on the ears 
and that those ears you do need those to keep that um, set of reels from bounce from bouncing out uh, when you're going over some rough terrain and, and staying straight so so those are important um, I don't know if you need the middle ear necessarily uh, like I say they they just tack this on to the side of it um, I'm not sure that that's absolutely necessary but um, I've got it on mine, so I just I just can't say. I haven't used it without it yet to really know. So that's all for the unrolling piece. For the part rolling it up, we've got more one and a quarter inch tubing sliding on there. Another little piece of plate. We've got a bearing on here. Um, this this bearing is accepting a that's three eighths inch all thread running through it so uh the size of the bearing isn't so important as much as you know running three eighths inch all thread through there uh, you can see where this is all wore out from my drill biting onto it this piece of all thread all the way across i already measured it is seven and a half inches uh, long so that that's what i'm using real important here this this nut right here is a knot is a uh has a nylon washer on it or or it's a, a nylon it's a locking nut it's got a little nylon strip inside there you go to the hardware store you'll find it you'll know what i'm talking about um, moving out past the the bearing i'm going to un, undo this so you guys can see a little bit better slide the tin out there's a, there's a nut in there there's two nuts in there up against that that uh bearing uh, keep it that keep this piece of tin off the bearing when it's spinning around so it doesn't doesn't bump up against it right there but uh, these these pieces of tin um, I already measured them they're four by eight inch pieces of tin they're just a rectangle um, pretty thin gauge stuff you know uh, I don't know what it is but I mean you can kind of see what we're working with there I, the, the piece of tin is my least favorite part of this whole setup. Um, I'd like to figure out something different. Uh, I haven't yet, but uh, this is what I've got for now. You guys can see all four corners have been bent, and um, when you put on when you put on the the second piece and you sandwich that reel in between them, these corners they sit just right in that reel to hold it um, centered and uh, they'll bite into that reel just a little bit and, and help help with reeling it up so uh that bend is important you know my focus is is poor right now but i mean these ears are bent in maybe three-eighths of an inch i'd say three-eighths of an inch um this way that's uh, the overall gist on on this uh this reel setup it's really good for doing a, a, a lot of poly wire um, a lot of my pastures or paddocks rather will end up involving uh, three quarters of a mile fence which that's two strands of poly wire so that's a, a mile and a half of poly wire and uh, I know a lot of guys out there uh, talk about geared reels some guys even say I, I need to be getting some good geared reels uh, but I think if you're if you're rolling up a mile and a half of poly wire even with the geared reel um, it would get old and I can do this with my with my uh, screw gun you know my screw gun will tie on right here um, to, to reel all this up with and um, you know we could do that with a geared reel maybe but uh, I'm gonna spend a lot more money on those geared reels than I am with the little extension cord reels. And so I kind of like this better. So with all that said, I sure hope this can help somebody set up their rig if, if uh, they're wanting to get something like this themselves. Um, if somebody does any improvements on it or changes it around, if you would, uh, I'd really, and you use it for a while and it works out good, um, I'd really appreciate it if you put something in the comments box and uh, let me know what you did different because uh, I'm always looking for some improvements. But hope everybody's having a great day out there, and uh, we'll look forward to you on the next one. Bye now.